What's up guys? So today is July 5th. Well, today is Wednesday, July 5th, and it's currently 9.05. Now, I just got to my appointment to see my doctor. So for the past four weeks, I've been going to physical therapy. My therapist, he told me that I need to get surgery. So he told me, he said, once you go see your doctor, let him know what I told you. And he wrote down a piece of paper, like every single thing for him to know. And he also sent him a text message. So today is gonna be the day I'm gonna talk to him. And then from there, you know, I'm gonna tell him I wanna do the surgery, you know, because once I get the surgery, I can squat, I can deadlift and everything. Well, when I recover, I can do all that good stuff. So I really want to get this done and I don't want to hear all that BS like, no, you don't need to get surgery. Yes, I do. I mean, my, if my physical therapist told me, do it, then I'm going to do it because, you know, he had that when he was younger. So I don't want to make the same mistakes. I'm young now. Might as well just do it because the older you get, it's going to get worse. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I'm not 100% sure if I'm allowed to record, but I'm just going to sneak it in like I did last time. As long as you guys can hear our conversation and all, that's all that matters. So in this video, it's just going to be about my leg. The one thing I hate about this place is that the parking so far. Like I'm not even there yet and I had to park all the way down there. Like what is wrong with them? Open. And again. So that's one of the things that's changed. Okay. Renzel? Yes. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, man? Good. So Mike sent me a Yay. communication last time, last week. Don't make it eh. Still having a little pain. Yeah, it's been hurting a lot. And really? When I went to the physical therapy, I guess because they were like working on it. But like it's been hurting so much. Just like yesterday, I was like walking around to for the Fourth of July and stuff. Yeah. Like fireworks. Yeah. It hurts so much from here, and it goes all the way down there. Do you get any pain in your back? No. Nothing, nothing in your back. Mm -hmm. Just all right here. Oh, in the ground. See. Relax right there. That's not bad. No okay. terrible there. Is that painful? Yeah. When I get there. Mm -hmm. This is painful right there. Yeah. Okay. Hold it like straight. Is that bothering you right there? Yeah. The other side does not. No. Oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You're okay? Yeah. Bring your leg off. Hold strong. Really push it down. 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 Push down. Up. In. Keep forward. Push. Back. Push. Back. Ankles up. Mm. Ankles up. Push down. Good. What do you feel? Is that the same? Sensation? Yeah. Let me have you stand. Don't do too bad here. Uh, yeah, right there. Uh, your sciatic nerve. How's that there? That's fine. That's fine, but this is bothering uh, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Okay, so you're having pain in your sciatic nerve. Let's get some experience of your back, right? Just to make sure. Okay. There's sometimes things that make sense, you know? Some people have pain in the back because of the nerve, in the hip because of the nerve of the back. If that doesn't, if we don't see anything bad on your back, I'm going to send you to get another MRI of your hip. Okay. See if we see anything there, because I'm thinking, I would like to give you a course and shot in the joint to see if that helps you with the pain, but because you have the history of a stress fracture, I'd rather to do an MRI of your hip before. Okay. And now you're having some pain in your back, that's the other thing that some people, most people get the pain on the side, but some people getting the from coming from the back. So let's get some x-rays of your back, okay? okay. There's the x-rays of your back. Okay, like I told your brother, you have a little decrease in the spacing between five and one, but it's nothing terrible. Now, you're having pain there that is different on the other side, okay? Sometimes, definitely, the pain that you have in your hip is not an easy thing to sort out where it's coming from. Last time was a femur. If you're having pain in your groin, now you're having some pain in the back there, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people might have pain in the groin because you have a little pinch nerve that comes from the back that gives you pain there, okay? So sometimes the problem could be your back, not necessarily the hip. Sometimes it could be the hip. So I'm going to send you to get another MRI to see if you have any other tear or anything like that. Okay. If that comes negative, what we're going to do, we're going to give you an injection in your hip. But I don't want to do it without the MRI because you had the history of a fracture last year, remember? So we'll see what happened with that. Now, some people, you are tender when I push in your right glute right there, okay? 
this is the sciatic nerve that comes down there and it has a branch that goes to the out to, to the side and people get pain there. Yeah. Say we do the MRI of your hip comes negative. We do a shot in your hip and it goes away. Well, say that it went away. Say it doesn't, then we start messing up with your back. Messing up with your back means maybe I need to send you to get an MRI of your back to see if we see on the MRI herniated disc or something pushing on our root that will explain why you're having pain because sometimes we don't see we don't see that on X ray definitely. Yeah, because because, like, I don't know, it just hurts a lot from here. So I'm going to put you in a, in, a, in, in a medication called a prednisone pack. I already sent that to your pharmacy. Okay. So you're going to take it. It's a dose pack. You take six the first day, then five the second day, then four, then three, then two, then one. It's an estuary. It works really good for nerve pain. We'll see what happened with that, but I would like for you to get this MRI, okay? Bones, of course, we're going to do at St. Francis like you did it before. They usually call in the next 48 hours, so I'm expecting they should be calling you by Friday. If nobody called you by Friday, Give them a call at this number. Have somebody drive you there because they're going to inject you there, like the same thing you had before. Oh, I had a shower there. Mm -hmm. oh. And then I'll see you back in two weeks with those results and see how things are going. Okay? okay. That's what we're going to do. How come, um, what's his name? His name is Mike, Mike, right? Mike. Michael. Um, he told me he had the same problem as me when he was younger, but he said that like back then it was difficult, like no surgeries or anything didn't exist. So he told, he told me that from here to here, He's thinking that my femur is too thick, so it's hitting my socket, and that's why it's hurting so much. And he says that to him, he said the only way for me to, like, he thinks to get better is surgery. He said they will take a chunk out of the, he said, you have too much. So he was like that, they'll trim it down, they'll keep trimming it down. So that way, he said, once you get that, I will never have problems again. So I just want to see so his feedback. What yeah. he's telling, let me translate what he's telling. There is something, some people have what is called a femoral acetabular impingement, okay? That is that uh, you start growing certain bone around here. Okay. And when you hit, go in a particular position that give you pain. I don't see that terrible on the, the x-rays. Okay. I don't see that, and I don't necessarily agree with that 100%. Okay. But the MRI will assess that too, so we'll okay. see. And if that, that's possibility, if that is true, when we give you a cortisone injection in the hip, okay. usually people have some relief. Okay. It, which could last for a long time, sometimes a short period of time, but we know the problem is going from the hip joint. Okay. Okay? I just wanted to make sure. That, that's fine. That's fine. He, he texted me and he talked to me last week, so I knew. Okay. So we'll bring you back in two weeks with that MRI result, right? Okay. okay. And I already sent that medication to the pharmacy. So All right. I'm back in my car now. He said a lot of things, and now we have another problem. Like, damn it. It's like, I'm not meant to work out. Should I just give up? Should I go into baking? Should I do surfing? Should I do something? I don't even know, because I might hurt myself too. Ah! I didn't even know I had problems in my back. I guess because when he was like putting pressure in certain spots, he found that one spot and it hurt so much. He tested the left side, you know, I felt no pain, but when it comes to the right side, I felt a lot, so we took their x-rays. And you heard everything. I don't know exactly what he said. I'm gonna have to review the clips because he said a lot of information, and I'm not the brightest person in the world, so I'm gonna have to review that. In 48 hours, the people for the MRI are gonna call me so I can set up an appointment, and he says I have to get an injection in my hip, and I got that before. Oh my gosh, that hurts. But it's okay, because I ain't no punk bitch. So we're gonna get the MRI, and we'll see from there what's gonna happen. Because I thought the surgery was it, but you heard what he said. He said, no, I don't think that's it, but once we get the MRI, then we will see from there. And then I'll see him July 19th, I think. That's what he said. But that's gonna be the end of the video, everyone. Like I said, this video was just about my leg. You know, give you guys an update. I bet you're like, damn, three videos in one week rental? Yes, I know, I'm on the roll. It's because I've been busy this week, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna record everything. And plus, you will see Jasmine and Kathy more on the channel because it's fun when I record with them. They love being on camera, and I think it's pretty cool to find other people that likes to be on camera. But I'm out, I'm gonna go get some food, and then from there I gotta head to work. <laughs> Kill me! I'll see you all in the next video. And if you ain't my nigga, then your girl single to me I don't give a damn if a nigga said you knew me Grew up with no father, so nobody ever sent me